Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Lab. In this episode, I want to share a simple example made using Blender Geometry Nodes. It's basically like a circle, and we are instancing a bunch of icosphere along the circles. And we get this rainbow color because I'm using the index of the instance and passing that value into the hue. So that's why you get this rainbow color. Um, it's really, really simple, right? You can recreate this from scratch uh, to understand it 100%. But let me try to give a breakdown. So we just, in order to get a, like a rainbow color, right? We only need, because we are using the material, we only need a value coming, you know, like this custom value coming into the hue. And the value needs to go from 0 to 1, right? In order to get the full rainbow if we want to have like a repeat on the rainbow we can we can we can do it this way so in order to get a value that's 0 to 1 here i'm using map range and um, the input value is the index of the instance and uh, we just need to map the value between 0 and the total number of the instance but what's interesting, however, here, because I'm using mesh and we are instancing um, a bunch of icosphere into the points. And then I'm also uh, converting the, po the instance into mesh. This is why we are, I'm using actually like the domain size node to calculate the number of instance and to calculate the number of points from the original mesh which is the icosphere and so as a result we get we can have you know this setup it's really simple i know but i just need to show this to you because i found it's kind of interesting as well so so if you go like if you remap the value really really high you actually get this kind of result so i found it kind of interesting if I increase the number of instance, you start to get this rainbowy color that's repeating. So I found that okay, it's a geometry nodes is really really fast, right? It's not always super precise. Um, it's more like okay, it's like a field of value, and it can work for big numbers of instance very very quickly. I think. So if I try to recreate, okay, we have seven, yeah, seven, seven, seven points that, and then we, we just simply instance that points into circle that we resemble. And yeah, the rest of them is like the undu undulating part is just, just a noise. It's very basic. So like I said, we can we can simply recreate this from scratch maybe it's it's easier to explain this way anyway so we have the default cube we have nothing here we want to instance on points or points instance random points i don't know how i get these nodes but i think it, it it's in the recent blender so if we just pass our original default cube we can we can instance points that way right random points we can have 100 cube, uh, cube that way but in this case we want icosphere so we use icosphere let's say we are just working with 10 currently it's random if we go inside okay it's points we have um the count and we have a uh, random positions of points and then we just instance the original geometry into it okay so in this case we don't want random we want a circle so we use circle maybe curve circle and then we just need to convert curve into points uh, curve into points okay curve to points 
curve goes into points so we can delete this the count attribute goes there so now we can control the number of points along the curve something like that save this very quickly just rainbow circle the next thing we want to do we want to colorize our geometry right let's just uh, realize instances in, in here set material we use the original material material we just need a value to connect to our material attribute so we don't have the value yet that we want to connect into the hue so let's use the map range things and an index okay we are we are going to use index instance the number and then we just pass this value there and uh, that's going to be the output value i'm just going to call it blah and this blah will connect to the hue color and we're going to use cycles currently we get that so it's not yet correct we need we need to have a number that's correctly counts the actual you know the mesh um, the total number of vertices so that's why we need to use domain domain size of the mesh and domain size of the instance so this is geometry coming out we get the instance counts and we need the original icosphere and then we just multiply the value I know it's very simple but it's kind of quite deep as well <laughs> and there's something you need to understand I mean geometry nodes can get very specific sometimes I think okay random points we, we got it already we just recreate the setup so rotations I just use the rotation so it's it's nice now can simplify it okay you see it understand the total mass points number and then we understand the number of instance to be generated on the fly and then we have the output that's between zero and one so it's remapping between zero and the total number of vertices and then we just now we can just play around with this value if you want to have like a repeat of rainbow color increase the number here you can increase the radius of the circle we can use set position of just to randomize okay a uh, curve circle curve points it's resampling it on the fly probably just gonna plug this into the offset yeah I think it's pretty much already there minus 0 0.5 subtract 0 0.5 to normalize the noise we can scale scale the noise we can animate it so I think that should explain it this is the scale we can randomize the value of the instance randomize the seed keep it simple between 0 and 1 and of course time goes into the W we have wiggle so Yeah, if you want to control everything from from this input, 
we just plug in all the value that we need to control our rainbow circle okay so let's have multiple rainbow there we can control the count the radius the seed the maximum curve to points okay we can base this on a count or also evaluate it or also length okay so this value will just work magically random points count okay count the count doesn't work anymore okay because we because we remove that count maybe we can resample the curve using the count so the count still matters the radius the seed the minimum and the maximum okay so that's basically the setup the radius the seed still gonna wiggle okay and blender crashes but anyway that's pretty much uh, the setup hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and and i'll see you next time thank you bye